How did the pioneers travel? Many pioneers traveled in a Conestoga wagon or a spring wagon. These were large covered wagons. Many of the pioneers chose oxen instead of mules or horses because the oxen were stronger. They would buy up to four oxen per wagon. Where would the pioneers ride? Oftentimes, the father would drive the wagon by walking beside the wagon. The children would walk behind the wagon oftentimes. What was the wagon like? The wagon could not carry more than 2,000 pounds. It was a canvas pulled on over the cap of the wagon to keep out rain, wind, and hot sunshine. Many pioneers would rub oil on the canvas to make it waterproof. What if a wagon would break down? The front wheels were smaller than the back wheels. This would help them turn. There would often be a bucket of grease hanging from the axle. This would help them run more smoothly. However, the, the trail and rough terrain could still manage to break one of their wheels. People traveling in the West often traveled in groups of 20, 40 wagons. This was called a wagon train. People traveling in the wagon train did not always stay together. There are even some cases when someone would become sick or had an accident, they might be forced to fall behind and wait for the next wagon train. There are even some cases when someone would have an argument and would decide to leave the wagon train. At night, the wagon trains would often form a circle from wind or weather, as well as creating a corral for their animals. As country rarely to popularly believe Native Americans rarely attacked a wagon train.